வெல்கம் டு சென்னை ஹில் ஸ்டேஷன் Hey guys my name is Azhar and you're watching my YouTube channel Azhar Sasi in this video we are going to see St Thomas Mount i have uh, come here to St Thomas Mount or Little Mount i'm not sure if St Thomas Mount Little Mount Parangi Malai are the same but today uh, me and my friend are here just to see two things one is the sunset this a uh, beautiful sunset point i have heard and uh, we are here to try that the second thing is uh, there is a historic place at the top of the hill from where the entire size of india was measured during the british time so these are the two things that we have planned to check out today in this video stay tuned with me i'll show you what's going on on a sunday before christmas it's so happening here so let's see vamos you can look for st thomas mount in the google maps i went from mount road so i had to take the katipara bridge and have to get down straight on the poru road once you reach the end of the poru road you can either take the right or you can go straight which will take you to the market if you are taking the right you have to take the left next to the mosque i just love the market here i saw a lot of things i wanted to buy but this rubber balls tempted me a lot but i don't have the age to play them anymore So I didn't buy. I just love the market here. St Thomas Mount National Shrine welcomes you. They will try to sell you the candles before entering the church. but this is not the entrance of the church here these are the steps that lead to the top of the hill where you will find the st thomas church this is the first time i am seeing a church at the top of a hill we have to climb all these steps to reach the church but i am not going to climb these steps since my friends are coming in a car here some more tour of street market for you guys Wow, get another church. I didn't know that Chennai has this many churches in a single street. There is a famous church that I know in Saidapet. Apart from that, I think there is one in uh, Besanagar too, and of course, Santom Church. Hi, meet Balaji. Meet Sayed. It is just a small hill. It does not have any hairpin bends. So the weather is not going to drop if you go up. That's what my friend Syed was asking if we would feel cold when we are at the top of the hill. So in the time la vandanaala unga feel cold ya. Cold ah? Cold illa. Just a nalla cold. car parking ticket is 50 rupees i am from chennai but i have never been to this place before this is our first view but we have way better views than this one so stay tuned ah. like every public place in chennai if they see my gopro camera they will put a ticket another 50 rupees gone city view from here is at another level it's foggy windy and it's awesome since we are at a height there is no network signal too so don't get lost just like i lost my friends once again i lost these guys it's nice and windy evening here and the cool breeze wow i think by seeing this flag you have got an idea of the wind that is blowing here our metro there are several view points let's see from where we can see the sunset 
that's the gindi metro station wow it's so beautiful let's see if you could see any train going by let me just zoom in and show you guys it says 75 years of independence 75 years i think this is the two metro lines junction in gindi These are the steps which I showed in the beginning of the video which if you climb you would reach at the top of the hill just yet another way to get in here I think this arrangement is because of the sunday need to check if it is on the weekdays too I heard nobody will be here on a weekday Okay let's search for the sunset view point Wow this evening is just getting better and better this is the place where you can see the sun going down. I was looking for a tall place in Chennai where I can watch the sunsets often. Finally found an incredible location. By the way, that's the airport runway and that's the Trisulam Hills. I have another video of Trisulam Hills in my channel. I posted it long back 2 years ago. You can check that out as well. I'll put it in the i button and the description. I was just waiting for a flight to take off. It would be such a treat to watch. I think we still have some time for the sunset. Until then, let's meet another friend who planned to visit us. Let me introduce you to Firat. Firat is from Sweden and living in Chennai currently. We know him from a travel group. He's also visiting this place for the very first time. We can go downstairs and finish it off. Let's go. Let's check? Yeah, yeah. Here's another viewpoint. You have to get down a bit to watch this beautiful sunset. This frame demands for a perfect click. Let's do it like always. He moved a little bit, so I had to shoot it candid. I couldn't believe that this is Chennai, neither could Firat. Flights were flying every now and then. It was so crazy to watch. I'll show you all the video clips of the flights at the end of the video. Now, let's move on to the historic place. He said it's a downstairs and we need to get some permission and we need to show some college ID like a research student. So Sundays it's not possible. We need to go on a weekday with the correct person from the department. But the statue of the person who measured entire India is here. We can go and have a look at it. Okay, thanks. Hey, Sian. Sian. Major Lambton. So it's evening already, and we are missing something. Let's have a chai. It's a vending machine coffee and tea. The tea was horrible. I won't consider it as tea at all. Firat said the coffee was fine but too sweet for his taste. So a big no for this place. But there are some shops further down there which we can try sometime later. Now let me show you the beautiful sunset. Like I said, we finally saw a flight taking off. Just have a look at it. This is such a really different experience for me being in Chennai. Never seen such a thing in Chennai like this before. Let me show you how you see it and how I shot this for you guys. That's the difference between social media and reality. Look where I am standing. 
I am standing on a pillar. It's time for some time lapse of the sunset and later I will show you how this place looks with lights and in the night. Even in the time lapse I got a flight taking off. Like I said it's so common here to see every few minutes. These are some flight shots I took from this place. This is how it looks when it is with lights and after evening. Let me get down and show you the night view of this place. I think all these arrangements are for Christmas. Not sure if they would be here in the normal times as well. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up and please share this with your friends so that you can plan a visit to this place with them. If you have any questions about this video, please let me know in the comments. Please do watch the other videos of my channel and if you like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. See you until my next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Ciao.